Listen, I want to talk to you guys about prayer and I want you guys to read Matthew chapters five and six. All right. Now, so many people, they pray to God. They say their morning prayers and they say, God, I thank you for this day. God, I pray that you give me guidance this day. And I'm not saying those things are wrong, but so many people pray their morning prayers and that's it. And they're not actually taught how to pray effectively. They're not taught that there are actually spiritual laws and principles that go along with effective prayer. Amen. Prayer that actually brings change and transformation to your life. Now, if you read in Matthew chapter six, if you notice prayer is actually one of the last things that Jesus taught his disciples how to do. Why is that? First, Jesus taught them how to give. He taught them how to fast. He taught them spiritual laws and principles because Jesus knew that if his disciples knew how to pray, but they didn't know how to live correctly. They didn't know spiritual laws and principles. Now their prayers would no longer be effective. Why? Because you have to understand there are spiritual laws and principles that come with prayer. There's a certain way that you have to live and you have to know how to act accordingly and live accordingly to what you're praying for. So, so many of you pray, but you're still living in sin. You pray, but you're still bitter. You still have unforgiveness in your heart. You're praying for certain things, but you're not living according to how God wants you to live. So therefore you're stopping up your prayers. If you have any bitterness in your heart, if you have anything laying in your heart that is not of God, if you're living a certain way that is not of God, you're stopping up your prayers. So, so many people, they're not praying for God's desires for their lives, but they're either praying from their woundedness, they're praying from their pain and their trauma, or they're praying with ill intent. So now what you're doing is you don't realize that you're asking God to do things and to answer prayers that are completely outside of his nature and character to answer. So you don't even know if God is in agreement with what you're praying for. Why? Because you don't understand the spiritual laws and principles and the sanctification that comes along with effective prayer in your life. So listen, in this season, I want you guys to pray for character development. I want you guys to pray for God to reveal and uproot and tear down anything that is still laying in your heart that is not of him, any bitterness, any unforgiveness. I want you guys to pray for sanctification and consecration in this season and watch how these things begin to change your prayer life. Amen. I love y'all. And let's get it.